Hi good, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So we finally had our first rate hike in almost a decade in the US and the markets have actually reacted with a lot of cheer. So most of the global equity markets are actually trading that little bit higher, uh, with the US dollar obviously making a little bit of inroads but nothing too excessive because it was one of the most telegraphed um, rate hikes in, in, in history. Everyone knew it was going to happen and it finally um, came, came through. Yellen gave a, a, a conference at the end, basically topping up, uh, talking up the strength of the U.S. economy, and most markets have, uh, have taken that in the stride. Apart from crude oil, which obviously has taken a bit of a knock, it's trading back down towards thirty-five dollars. This is where we are just now with the with the U.S. thirty, just about to get through seventeen seven forty-seven. Uh, Longer-term potential resistance will be at eighteen thousand one hundred twelve, briefly followed by a move beyond eighteen thousand two hundred and eighty-four. Then having a look at the UK 100, it's, uh, it's pushed on e even higher, smashing through 6,073. A little bit of follow through this morning off the session highs. Almost got a bullish crossover on the MACD. Other technicals relatively neutral. We did have a buying signal on the RSI and maybe the slow stochastic earlier on. Um, but we're in a little bit away from, from both the support and resistance. We're almost trading uh, toward, in the middle of two ranges right now. But that's where the UK market stands. Then looking at Japan, 225, a similar picture to the other markets. A, a decent gain yesterday. Uh, again, off the session lows, uh, at highs this morning. Maybe potentially cap for that 21 period SMA in the middle of two ranges once again. Then having a look at dollar yen. Uh, the dollar, uh, not like completely going on fire yesterday, but still pushing up uh, a little bit higher. Uh, again, cap for that 21 period SME. 121 spot 87 could be potential support. Next potential resistance, 124.42. Then looking at West Texas crude, you can see the candle from yesterday after the FOMC, pushing it back down to 35.30. We're on the wrong side of potential support right now. Um, as I said, we're currently trading around about 35.15. Uh, the next potential support is all the way down, around about $27. So if we do see an acceleration of that downtrend, $27 is the next potential support. Um, though the way the equity markets are right now, you might expect that the demand fears and the slowdown fears are not so prevalent. Um, some might have expected the US there actually to dip down ever so slightly, but the reality is if they're raising rates, that means they must have a lot of um, confidence in the strength of the US economy, which is adding to that net positive for, for, for US stocks. So gold, interestingly, actually went higher yesterday following the FOMC, only to drop back down again. So uh, 1,072 is potential resistance, and that's a capping. Uh, gold prices from going up any higher at the moment. So looking at euro dollar and GBP USD, so unsurprisingly euro dollar reverse course uh, is almost bounced off one spot 0.8.19 this morning, which will also be quite close to that 21 period SMA. You've got a, 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 a potential reversal signal on the slow stochastic and we could be getting a crossover in the MACD as the MACD histogram is actually moving down there, getting smaller, getting ready for that crossover. So um, if that does break 1 spot 0.8.19, the next potential support is at 1 spot 0.524. And to finish things up with GBP USD, um, you can see there that's four sessions in a row, including today where we've had, had, had negative, um, breaking below 1 spot 50.27 with 1 spot 45.59 being the next potential support. Other technicals relatively neutral. We do have a negative crossover on the MACD. So economic data-wise today, we still have UK retail sales, uh, half nine UK time. Uh, and we've got US unemployment claims at 1.30. And then fast forward on to Friday, no data. No data for Friday. Uh, that would be pretty uh, surprising. I guess we've gotten all the big ones out of the way. So uh, that gives you a bit of a flavor of what's impacting the markets right now. I guess the question is what's going to happen now with the, uh, who's going to raise rates next? Uh, I guess you've got the Bank of England you could be looking at. Uh, with the Eurozone, obviously they're talking about uh, not doing QE, so they won't be raising rates anytime soon. Uh, but I guess focus will be turning to the UK. I can even see that one of our, our colleagues there in, uh, in Australia has mentioned uh, about the Bank of England there as well, so maybe get a chance to have read of that. Keep your eye on the chart forum, guys. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.